Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia, the Dark Descent. We're here, down in the control room of the... whatchamacallit place. The water cistern, or whatever we're near. And we have to figure out this thing. There's probably a note or something somewhere to help us uh, understand it. We also have to put these pipes somewhere. I'm sure we'll figure that out soon. And there's a... Uh, I don't think I tested these ones. Oh, this one's stuck in its position. Stuck in its position. Stuck in its position. Okay. Got it. So, the ones in the other room are fine. These ones are all stuck. And then we've got that third door, which, if I remember correctly from last time, is... Yeah. I don't think we can come back if we go through here. I'm not excited about that in the slightest. But, uh, yeah, currently, I guess we can't do anything with that stuff over there. And I don't know the correct, like, heights to put these at. So we need to find something to help with that. And I guess it's over here. Oh. Okay, cool. So there is a way back. Awesome. Good. But it's a way back that's not going to be as simple as just opening a door and walking through. So if we're getting chased... Okay, that's... Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay, what's down here? More... Levers? I guess not more levers. The... It's not levers in the other rooms. Ooh! Empty little hiding spot under the stairs, I guess. Not sure how well it'll work, though. Oh! Wooden crank! Okay, let's uh, take a look at that. Crank for a machine. Descriptive. Thanks, game. Just fantastic. Best description ever. Alright. Nothing else in here. Besides the levers, obviously. Okay. Wow, that's great. Could probably put that up. Oh, wait a minute, I just... Did it just say times 18? It did. And now we're down to 17 after I used it. I never... How have I never noticed that before? It tells you the number you have before you light it. That's cool. Okay. Alright, so... Nothing in here we can do yet. Alright. Let's check the other rooms. Okay. There's another big piston thingy. Note. Okay. 13th January 1799. The work I've put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaced by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. Okay. Pick up that tinder box. There's another piece of the thingy. We'll mess with that in a second. Let's take a look around the room real quick. For stuff. Stuff of various kinds. Oh, like that. Oil. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Yeah, times 18. Again. Cool. Alright. 
So, I have to wonder, um, who wrote that note? The, uh, actually, I hope it doesn't, did it say? I don't think it said. No, it didn't, it doesn't say. Okay. Yeah, so I have to wonder, was that Alexander Brennenberg? Or is it somebody else? Because Alexander, from all the other notes we've read and everything, and the bit of dialogue we've heard of him, he seems to be a pretty smart guy who does a lot of his own, like, experiments and inventions and things. Did I just hear something? I don't know. It's weird. Um, that note doesn't really strike me as being written by Alexander. Like, it, obviously it's, it's very much possible for him to have uh, hired somebody to make the lightning rod that that person's talking about for him, but Alexander seems like a really secretive dude, and he seems smart enough to be able to make his own lightning rod, or whatever else he needs, because as they've shown in, you know, other notes and stuff like that, he's no stranger to making inventions. Oh, that's... Whoops. Okay, wrong door. That's back the way we came. I thought there were two at each end. That's the door we haven't been to yet. And this is the one that I want to leave this right next to. I don't know what we're doing with the pipes, so I'm not going to bother bringing it over there because it very well might... We, we, we might need to, you know, bring the other two back over here. Okay. Cool. What is this? This looks like a mess of pipes. Maybe we'll need to do something with them. Who knows? Not me. So let's just set these up. Give us a nice little hiding space. Right here. Just in case. Just in case. Kind of get the feeling that this is probably an area where monsters aren't even going to spawn and attack us. Because we've been in like two other similar areas where it was just a bunch of really small rooms connected to each other with uh, without any real like natural hiding places and in those other two rooms no monsters appeared and attacked us so I'm thinking maybe this is a, a repeat of that just get behind here if we need to. That's good. Don't even have to jump. This is low enough to just step up onto it. Alright, and this, uh... Oh, what? No, that's not a chest. I'm going crazy. Okay. Oh! Pipe. That's a place where pipe goes. Okay. And we found three bits of pipe. Is this... Does this match up with it? I don't suppose it does. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it does. Except maybe... Right here. Yeah, th there, there's no uh, spots on the left here. Whereas there are spots on the left right here, but the rest seems to line up. Those uh, six on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, those line up. And the, uh... So I bet this is the probably the solution. That's probably where, where we put the... Can we even examine these? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright. No monsters, Spawnerino, please. Thanks. Let's just take this first one back. I'm willing to bet. Let me 
turn around. No? Game. Oh, okay. So that one has to go there. Sure. But that's not how it... It's gonna... I mean, obviously these two are connected to these two just with a much more elaborate pipe. Um, but is this one... It's not protruding enough from the wall to... Eh, maybe the other one will. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go grab the others. That's undoubtedly what we have to do with them. There you go. And uh, you open back up, please. Thank you. This one protrudes out a bit further. Oh, we somehow got through that. I tried to crouch, but it didn't actually crouch fast enough. Oh, well. <clears throat> All right. This one goes right there. Yeah, okay, cool. And then this one will go on the right. Unless it has to mirror the other side. Let's close this just in case. Because this is right here, so it might have to go there if it's a mirror. Or it might go there if it's uh, lined up the same way. Yep, it goes there. Okay, cool. Now, hmm, do we need a fourth one for that? Because I didn't see a, a fourth pipe anywhere. I suppose I could look around a little more. Huh. Yeah. Let's take a little look around. Because I have a feeling there might be a fourth one needed. Because the game usually gives a message of some kind when you've uh, completed a puzzle. And it didn't give us any message upon putting in that third pipe. So there's probably a fourth pipe somewhere that we need to find. Question is where? Hmm. And then, what do we do with all this crap? It's stuck in its position. Yep. They jiggle a little bit, but not enough to actually change position. Darn. Okay. Oh, that's just a torch. Okay, nope. And we don't need to deal with that. No, no, no. Okay. Let's look down here, then. Hmm. Any hidden under the stairs? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, boy. This is exciting. Isn't it? Nothing under there. Can't actually do anything with that. It's just a little item in the world. Not something we can actually interact with, unfortunately. Alright. Open you up. Alright. And in here... Still... Nothing. Huh. Yep, no. No more pipe. One more room to check. But I kind of doubt it. Oh, that's the sound of the wind. Jesus. Or the machines, I guess. Whatever machines are running. Okay, hmm. So, it's not gonna help, is it? And that is a loading door to take us back to a completely different area, so I highly doubt that's where we have to go, right? Yeah, Eastern Cistern, or whatever. Hmm. Uh, no more pipe board under here? No? Alright. 
I guess we have to try and figure out that first. Um, since we put the pipe on, are these ones still stuck in place? Actually, I think these are the same ones. Yeah, no, those are the ones that weren't stuck. These are the ones that were stuck. Stuck in its position. Stuck in its position. And stuck. Okay. So about the notes then. Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged. Keep the others. That's for a way earlier puzzle. Okay. Machine. Um. Instantaneous lightning. Screw the place. Blah, blah, blah. Huh. Okay. Mementos. Repair the machine powering the eastern bridge. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Diaries. Those don't give things. Elevator machine. Yeah, no. We still. That's, an, again, another one that we already did. This. Uh, hmm. Seeing pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think what the inventor would have thought of my monster, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will have even the tiniest hint of power left on a traveler's locket. Yes, I don't see any items that might. Still have to. There's. Hmm. Still something for the wooden crank. We found that, but we don't know what it goes to. Oh boy, I hope I'm not missing something really obvious. Alright, let's head over here. a quick look around again, just in case. No. Alright. In that case, let's try messing with the levers. And get this thing to do something. Oh wait, no, these ones are stuck. So let's mess with the levers on the other side. And this, uh... Should we be trying to get this one all the way down? Like the other one, right? Because the one on the right... Let me actually run over there real quick and look at it. Yeah, the one on the right is all the way down to the ground. And that one... So maybe we need to get them to match. Kind of like the pipes. We had to get the pipes to match. So... Makes sense that we'd want these to match, too, I guess. No, that's no good. We don't want it to go more up. That's better. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. Trying to listen for monsters, because they always do tend to appear after we've solved a puzzle. But I don't hear anything. Okay. Good. That's good news. Alright, these... They don't quite match yet, because we still need one more thing of pipes. But I cannot for the life of me find a fourth set of pipes. And there's not... Uh, like, there's no weird way we can finagle it to get three pipes to connect all of them, so that's not going to work. Actually, hold up a second. I wonder, does this one fit on either side? It does. So it was just on the wrong side, wasn't it? There's steam going through that now. Oh, and we can't take this back off. Is that you? Huh? Is he just hallucinating more? Even though his mental ability is crystal clear? Okay, so it needed to be a mirror, not a, uh... Not like a flipped match, I guess. And we know we're right, because we can't take it back out. So that works. That works well. Very good. Very good indeed. Alright, then we've got those two things matching. 
So now we just have to get the other ones to match, I bet. Because the levers on one side were stuck in their positions. These ones, right? Yeah. So now we need to get the other ones. Okay, so the middle one needs to be up high. The one towards that side of the building needs to be down low, and then the other one is in the middle. Okay. Just in case. Alright. So that one... That one needs to be all the way down. Hmm. Uh... So is that one stand to be down a little bit lower? Oh, wait. It's already up all the way. Never mind. Oh! Awesome. Don't mind me. I'm just scared of the possibility of something popping out. My caution has got me through this game so far without being hit by any monsters. I'm determined to make it to make it stay that way. Alright. But now we have fixed the bridge and actually before I go too far and get into something else, I'm gonna actually end the episode here because I'm pretty much out of time and uh, this is a good place to stop because we just finished a puzzle so we feel super good about ourselves. So I'll see y'all next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you continue to enjoy it. Buh bye bye